Okay, we know about users, we know about groups, it is time to talk about shares. So, let me open this again. If I want to, I'll let other users read or write to this document, or a lot of documents in one folder or multiple folders. What I need to do is to share this file or folder. So, the, 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 the con concept of sharing is let other users to have accept, access to this file or folder. And I want to show you how you can do this. And that's a very beautiful scene too. Let me open File Explorer here. By opening File Explorer, I want to go to Drive C, for example. And here, I need to create a new folder or I can have this docs folder here that is a very good place to place my documents inside them you can see inside this I have my edited videos and under this there is nothing yet but I want to add some videos or some documents to this let me go back to drive C and this is the folder that other users need to access that to you know read these files, add files to this document, to the docs folder, or for example modify the existing docs inside this. So how can I do this? Again, I need to right click on this folder, go to properties, and you can see sharing here. There are two ways to share a document. A very easy one and a very advanced one. I want to talk about both of them. If you want to share it, just click on here, Share. As you can see, it is already shared for me. That's because I am the owner of this folder. What if I want other users to have access to this? As you can see, if I click on this drop-down menu, a long list of users appear here. And I don't want to, you know, uh, let me. Uh, I don't want to, you know, share it to everyone. Actually, everyone uh, contains users that do not have any username and password on my system. I actually want to, you know, select these users. For example, I want to share it to Jen. As you can see, if I click on Add, Jen is added. And if I go here, there is this little uh, triangle. If I click on that. It gives me the ability to let Jen read this document, and reading means just reading and executing uh, the files. I can, uh, you know, permit her to read and write. This means modifying, adding, or removing, uh, you know, uh, or, or uh, creating new files. And I can let her remove the file or folder if she, uh, you know, wants it. Perhaps remove is not safe, but read and write, it is okay for Jen to read or write to other, uh, you know, files or folders inside this. So, if I click on share, that's it. This is shared, and if Jen wants to reach to that, she needs to type, for example, backslash, backslash, client 10, backslash, docs. This is the way she needs to, you know, reach to this. And if I want to, for example, show this to you, let me open a file explorer in another computer. This is another computer here. If I click on this address bar and type two backslashes and type client 10 and type another backslash and type docs, I can reach to this document. If I just type the computer name, I can just, you know, uh, see all folders that are shared on this computer. I hit enter, and you can see that there is a printer on this computer that is shared. We have a general folder that is shared. We have user folders that is shared. And we have docs folder that we just shared them. And if I open this, you can see my edited videos under that. Here I can have anything else. And if I right click here, and try to add something. For example, I want to try to add a text document. You can see it is possible. Now if I want to delete that, I right click on this and delete it. Click on yes, and this is going to be deleted. That's because I created this folder and this file. 
that's because I created this file. If anybody else wanted to delete this, she would be denied. That's because this is my file. And on, uh, on this computer, the X folder did not give anybody else uh, the permission to delete this folder. Okay, let me click on down. Now if I want to, you know, stop sharing this folder, what should I do? I can click on share and go and, you know, uh, select this. So let me see. There is some place that tells me I want to stop sharing this. I can go here and click on remove. This way Jane is going to be removed from this list. And this way sharing is going to stop. Anybody else other than me that I am the owner should, uh, should, should be removed from this list. And click on share again. And you can see that the sharing is going to stop after some seconds. Now this is not my preferred way of sharing. Actually, I prefer to share it the other way, using advanced sharing. And what I'm going to do is to do this. Let me uh, you know, finish this part first. Okay, I need to go to advanced sharing. And if this is shared previously, I can just remove this checkbox and click on apply. And this way you can see it tells me there are one users connected. Let me disconnect him or her. Now you can see it is not shared. Let me go to advanced sharing again. If I want to share this folder, I can click on share this folder here. Now I can change the name. I can keep the name. It is, uh, you know, my preference to change or keep this name. I can give access to this shared folder to multiple users at once. For example, 20 users by default can connect to this folder simultaneously. But if I want to share it over, you know, more users, I can, you know, increase this number if I want less users to connect to my computer because my computer is not so fast and this may reduce the, the performance of my computer. I can do this too, but here 20 is okay, I guess. So I need to go to permissions. If I go to permissions, you can see that we have read, we have change, and this is exactly the same as read write. And we have full control. Full control means doing anything. And as you can see, these are granted to everyone. I want to put full control here, and I want to show you why. Because there is another place that I can manage permissions much more efficiently. So I click on Apply. I click on OK. Again, I click on OK. Now this is shared again. Now if I want to you know, connect to this from other computers, that's okay. So let me uh, show you something else. There is a tab here called security. And by using this security tab, we are going to give permissions to other users to connect to this folder and do whatever we want to do. And this is going to be very detailed in the, the permission sets. And in the next section, I want to talk about this.